Destiny Lachey. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, my background is completely different. Me and my family have moved and I had to rearrange everything and I felt like I wanted my background to be more lifestyle-esque. So this is what I came up with. I have my shoes, my makeup, like some random stuff over there for my hair. Like everything's all in one space. I feel a lot more organized now and I feel like this background is a lot more me. And I also have like my little cute pumpkin for the fall my favorite season yeah I just feel like this is a lot more me so I have a lot of new products here that I have not tried out yet and I really want to try them with you guys I haven't put on makeup in like three weeks and I feel like it's because I've had my lashes done and they're permanently on my face so I feel like I don't need any makeup on so I haven't worn any makeup in like three weeks and plus we've been moving and all that stuff so I just feel like I don't know I just haven't had the time to put on makeup anyway but I'm gonna be trying out the Jackie Ina palette today it's so pretty I'm gonna be trying that for the first time with you guys and I'm also going to be trying out the Maybelline Superstay full coverage under eye concealer today oh and the Fenty Beauty hydrating foundation the new one I'm gonna try that out with you guys today I did use this one time but honestly guys Guys, it's been so hectic the past couple of weeks I don't even remember how this looked or anything like I really don't remember and then I'm also gonna be trying the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer for the first time so I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see my face a little bit better okay this new background is lit I am loving it like look at my makeup I actually been dreaming and envisioning this whole like thing behind me for the longest time and for it to actually be here I got these containers and the idea from Desi Perkins on YouTube and her whole collection was crazy and I was like oh my god I love those containers because you can see everything I feel like I would use a lot more of my makeup I'm gonna do an entire makeup collection video my collection has shrunk like I don't know what that was but my collection has really shrunken is that a word it's just really not as big as it used to be because I gave a lot of makeup away. I give makeup away so much. It's crazy because I feel like to have a huge collection for me is really unnecessary and makeup goes bad so I don't want to keep it for a long time. See this is why I can't do my makeup and talk to y'all because I just want to sit here and talk to y'all or just do my makeup. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try here. I'm trying. Okay so the first product that I'm gonna use is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is the Natural Skin Perfector. This has SPF 30 in it so it does have sun screen which is nice this is meant to be like a skin tint so you could wear this on its own without foundation but I'm gonna use this as like a glowy primer let's see okay that gave me some coverage oh that's not glowy I thought that was gonna be glowy okay let me just blend it out on this side I was gonna wipe it off but let me just see that's kind of glowy it gives you like a small amount of coverage so I'm gonna go in and conceal first I'm gonna use the Mac Pro Longwear concealer in the color NW45 this is a concealer and I use this to cover any dark areas on my face and I'm gonna use like a little concealer brush for that eyeshadow brush whatever it's called just gonna put a tiny amount on my hand and I just go over this like these dark areas I feel like my skin has gotten a lot better though. I've been doing like a whole bunch of stuff to my face lately and it's been working out. Like I shaved my face the other night and I really asked myself why I stopped shaving my face because it's the best thing since exfoliating, okay? Like it's kind of exfoliating. It is kind of exfoliating. It gets the peach fuzz off of your face and it also gets a lot of the dead skin off of your face. Um, I use a special like little razor thing and I feel like it helps to um not cut you because I've tried shaving my face at home before and I didn't really like it because it kind of hurt and that was because I was using a regular eyebrow razor and I looked on Amazon and I looked up like derma planning razor and that was the technical term for shaving your face and I got the right razor and now I'm addicted to shaving my face. The razor that I have, actually, it's right here. This is what it looks like. It's like a flat razor and it's a little bit bigger. So you can shave your face in like one go. So I've been not wearing makeup lately, but when I have done my makeup, like the last time I did my makeup, like three weeks ago, I have gravitated towards more of the micro 
kind of sponges, the Juno sponges versus the re regular beauty blenders. I feel like the regular beauty blenders soak up a lot of my foundation. I love them for blending like my under eye concealer and stuff, but for applying foundation, I've been really liking the Juno sponges. It just makes your foundation look so smooth. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I am in the color 420. I got the same color that I am in the matte foundation. Um, if you guys did see my review of the Fenty foundation, the, the first original one, I hated it. And I do still use that foundation, but I have to add oil to it. So when she came out with this one, I was like, okay. I'm gonna try it because I am more on the drier side. I'm like normal to dry now and I feel like that's because of my skincare. I was really excited about this because 420 matched me pretty well but I just had to add oil to the foundation every time I used it and I did not like that. So I can't really remember how this looked but we're gonna try it out again today. And I feel like her foundations go on really light like you see how light that looks and then once they're blended in they look like they match see like look at that they like oxidize and I feel like I put too much I did put too much so first impressions kind of like I said I did wear this a little bit first impressions is this foundation definitely is not like the matte one very hydrating it gives you like a natural glow this blends very nicely yeah. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is go in and do my eyebrows. Lately, what I've been doing is doing soap brows. And I wipe my foundation off on a little paper towel because it kind of messes with it, the soap, if you don't wipe your foundation off. So I'm going to use my Neutrogena bar of soap and I'm going to go in with my little spoolie, spray my soap with my setting spray. I have a whole tutorial on this. I will link it right here in the card so you guys can watch it if you want to. I'm not going to show you guys my brows today, like my full routine, but you can check out the video right here. So I'm going to prime my brows with the LA Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey, the same color we just used. And my eyelids are a little bit oily. This is my first time doing eyeshadow with my eyelash extensions, so this is going to be interesting. I just love using concealer on my lid because it just gives me a really blank canvas to work on. And it cancels like all the darkness on my eyelids and I just love it. I just love how it looks. It looks so flat and perfect. Alright, so now we're going to go into the Jackie Ina palette. That comes with a brush, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use the Morphe M441. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going to go into the color Ginger right here. This does have a bit of fallout. Actually, a good amount of fallout on this palette. So, you definitely have to tap off the excess. I feel like palettes that have a good amount of fallout, like not too much, but a good amount, are really pigmented. So we're going to see. And I like that the Anastasia palettes have a full length mirror on them. And Anastasia shadows, in my opinion, are pretty decent. Ooh, I like that color. I feel like almost every shadow on me transfers differently than how it looks in the palette. This looks a lot warmer on my eyelid than it does in the palette. This seems like it's pretty easy to blend out, which is nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the color edges. Oh, it's a lot more orange. For sure. Honestly, I thought doing my eyeshadow with the eyelash extensions would be a lot harder than it actually is. Alright, so the next shade that I'm going to use is Credit. This looks like a really, really deep, kind of purpley toned brown. And I'm going to use this MAC 217. And I'm going to go even closer. Okay. 
Yeah, these colors blend very nicely together. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the color Wig Elise, honey. All over the lid. Ooh. Okay, I must say, this color is very unique. And I love it. It's like a red, but it's a burgundy, but it's a cranberry. Ooh. And this goes on so nicely on top of the other shades. Like, I'm not having any patchiness or anything. So now I'm going to use that MAC 217 brush to go in and blend these colors together. I am going to make my own eyeliner. And I'm going to use the... Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter Eyeshadow. This is like the darkest, blackest eyeshadow that I own. And I'm going to put it on the ColourPop E6 brush. And I'm going to kind of do like a little smoky liner. So I'm just going to brush my eyelash extensions up. I'm going to use a little spoolie. Okay, so now I'm going to use for the very first time the Maybelline Superstay Concealer. And I'm just going to apply this as I would any other concealers. Um, I don't really mess with concealers like that. Like once I find a good concealer... I just stick with the same one so I don't know how I feel about using this one today <laughs> um, this is in the color olive it doesn't smell like anything which is good it doesn't smell like paint just blend it out oh it's blending nicely right now it's looking okay um, I won't know until I kind of bake a little bit so I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to take that on a beauty blender. And I just kind of pat this underneath my eye. I feel like I have a lot of translucent powders that I refuse to use because this one has been my go-to for so long. And it just makes your under eyes look so smooth. It brightens them up a little bit. And it's like the most flawless powder ever. I like to sweep my powder away with my MAC MSF. And I'm using this Luxie Tapered Highlighter Brush. So I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeliner. I'm using the Marc Jacobs liner. While we're on the eyes, I'm actually going to go in and finish the eyes a little bit. So I'm going to take a little pencil brush, like something like this, and I'm going to use the same eyeshadows that I used on the top on the bottom of my lash line. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to use is Ginger, then I'm going to go in with Edges, and then I'm going to go in with Credit. The lightest shade is dispersed the furthest on the bottom part, and then the darker the shades get, you get closer to your lash line. So I do Ginger... And then I'm going to go in with edges, and I'm going to get closer 
to the lash line. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade Credit, which is the purpley brownish shade. I just drop it. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the melt shadow and just kind of tight line a little bit. So now to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna use my Too Faced mascara. <laughs> So for contour, I'm going to use the Anastasia Cool Earth Foundation Stick. I'm going to take this MAC, I don't know what brush this is, it's like an angled cheek brush that's really shedding a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to blend that down a little bit. With this, a little bit goes a really long way. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in the color Deep 4. And I'm just going to take that same brush and just slowly bronze my face up. Bring it along my temples, forehead. And then I just pinch my brush a little bit and I contour my nose with that because I don't like a heavy nose contour at all but I want something there so next I'm going to try out a new blush I'm going to use the ColourPop Shortcake Pressed Powder Blush okay so now for highlighter I'm going to use the MAC Hyper Real Glow and I'm going to use the darkest shade in this palette which is this one, a lot of bit of glow. I'm going to put a little bit below my brow. I'm going to do the little Rihanna highlight. This is what I call it, the little C right here. Let's put a little bit on my chin. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Medium Deep Powder. And believe it or not, guys, it is 2 o'clock in the morning. Leilani has been asleep because she has school tomorrow, or today, technically. And I'm up doing my makeup. But I'm going to take a shower after this and wash all of this off. Isn't that sad? I'm not going anywhere. But I didn't have any other time to film. So for lips, I'm going to use the Pixi by Petra Berry Boost Lipstick. Okay, that's really bright. So I'm gonna use Night Moth by MAC. Okay, so now I'm gonna sweep away this powder with my MSF on the bottom of my chin. Okay, so now to finish off the look, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video.